This is my patient, Carol. Carol came to me after falling over some dining room chairs and injuring her right hip. She has pain with elevation of the right knee and weakness on extension. Go. Ow. What you'll notice on this test is the weakness and the pain she's experiencing with this straight leg muscle test. At the end of treatment, this will no longer be the case. In this scene, I'm testing three separate tests, a straight leg test, a flexor withdrawal reflex test, and a deep tendon reflex test. The next thing I'll do is I'll look for a location in her body where something is not working properly, causing that hip to be dysfunctional. In this example, I went to Carol's cervical spine. I checked her upper neck, her middle neck, and her lower neck. I'm looking for the area of dysfunction that is inhibiting that right hip from working properly. Then I'm going to go back and retest that leg and see if there's a change in strength and a decrease in pain. How's that? Um, I felt a little stronger with that. Yeah, did it hurt as much? No, no it didn't. The neck bone is connected to the leg bone? <laughs> yeah, if you want to put it in that way, yes. <laughs> One of the big things when I watch other chiropractic videos is you know, everybody's going for these pops and these cracks. And while there's an entertainment value there, there are two main groups in the chiropractic community. There's the group that thinks that pop everything, make everything crack, and that improves the patient. There's the other group that believes that excessive cracking causes too much stimulation to neurons. I'm in that group. Ready? Try this for me. Push up. How's that? I'm oh, much stronger. Okay, we're going to do an exercise together. You're going to rotate the arm. You'll like me when you get off the table, I promise. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Don't bet on it. <laughs> How's that? So far, so good. Let's try that lifting the leg. See if there's any change. I've been able to lift my foot at all, but now I can go quite a, quite a bit. Carol, how are you? Okay. How's your hip? Better. Let's see what's going on here. Look what's happening here. Look how high I can raise this leg. That's really good.